Oh, now, now I'm gonna look at the pregnant female. We already have this one dissected, so I'm just gonna kind of lift yeah. it up here. Yeah, you can tell it's female again. No claspers and the large size. So yeah, we've we've cut away the body wall, which you know we've shown previously, and you can see she's really got a lot of large organs in here. And in fact, on this one, what's kind of unusual is a lot of the extension of the cavity here is actually the stomach. Remember, here's the so here's the esophagus coming down, and so here's the stomach. And so she's got a lot of material in her stomach. So we're going to go ahead and cut that open and see what she's been eating. I guess before we kind of thought this would be all large pups. But yeah, it yeah, sometimes deceiving. it is, so it's a little different to see that. Make sure you get the cut through there. Oh, this is also an injected shark. They've injected the circulatory system. So you see the yellows, which is the hepatic portal system. Uh, blue for vein and things like that. So part of the, these colors you'll see are not natural colors. These are kind of hold us back injected. Here. Yeah, so we pull that open and oh my gosh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Wow. Five. Five large. Five fairly it's large. Much not fish. even yeah. swallowed completely. Yeah, some kind of almost like a shad. I think it's a shad. Yeah, I think those are a shad. So kind of shows the the flexibility of that stomach too to get yeah. larger. Yeah, yeah. How large it can expand. So these again, these animals are, you know, they are predators. And she ate mm -hmm. those obviously fairly recently. They're not very digested at all. So she, yeah, she must have run into a, a school of fish and and had a grand meal there, right? Kind of shows too that there's not a whole lot of digestion going on in the stomach no, at all. No, not yet, not you know, yet anyway down lower. at that point. Oop, here's, yeah, here's one that's a little more digested. So yeah, so she had five five fish. That's that's a lot of fish. It is. <laughs> Should we look at that? Okay, the, well yeah, we'll set those aside. Now we can give a little more room here and say kind of push the liver out here. Here are, in fact, we may want to just remove, remove that those? liver, I think. Both sides here. Well, or oh. yeah, well, we can see pretty good on okay. this. Let's try this. Okay, here we mentioned here is an ovary. Here's a mature ovary on this. So there'll be one on each side. And they have little follicles in them, little round like structures. And then here's the oviduct running down. And then this thinner walled structure toward the end is the uterus. And so the eggs would be mm -hmm. produced uh, in the ovary, down fertilized in the oviduct. And then if there are. So many times pups. this could be full, right, of little yeah, pups. Yeah, could be full of pups. And, and I can hold this back here for you. Yeah. And Atlantic dogfish sharks are, are different among sharks, or there's other sharks that do this, but they're fairly unusual, and that they have what's called ovoviviparity. In other words, they don't lay eggs. They retain the eggs inside of their uterus here to... Um, so all this material here would be egg yolk, basically. And... You can see that pulling apart. Ah, oh, yep, here we go. And there's a little baby shark. Um, right there. Attached to the so yolk. Attached, attached to, to the yolk. yolk. Yeah, the yolk kind of tore apart in this case. Yeah, I can't get it out in one piece. So this would be yolk material. And then there's the there's the little baby shark. Kind of a comparison, too. We have one here. Yeah, we have one that's preserved over still here. Still attached, attached to the yolk sacs. So you can see how that yolk's contained inside a membrane that feeds the the growing uh, shark. And you see it looks just like an adult. It's a little baby shark. And eventually then it will be born from it, you know, re come through its mother's cloaca out into the world and be ready, you know, basically able to swim. And no parental feed. support at no all. No parental support after that. But they do, it's a little bit unusual to maintain, you know, a very protected environment for the, for the young while it's growing. And that's the advantage. Now, the disadvantage, of course, is it takes more room, mm -hmm. so you, uh, they're gonna produce fewer young at a time, but they'll hopefully increase their survival by having them live inside that protected environment until they're capable of, of living. So Thanks. different than many, many other sharks and rays have lay uh, eggs themselves. So here's the little baby there. I guess we could look on the other side, okay. just in case. I don't, it didn't look to me like there was well, no, maybe. No. Here's you could the, find them on both sides then. Yeah, probably. you could theoretically find them on both sides. But here's the uterus. I think it's empty. Yeah. So that little one, there's a lot of material here in the small intestine again. But I believe we just have, she just has that single pup. You can kind of see the structure of the uterus there, how big and sac-like it is. Expandability. Expandability as, as those young develop. So they can have more than one at a time. So. 
you know, things are. And I, it's getting rare. You don't you don't see this that often when you're dissecting, but occasionally you will run across this. And students certainly will have questions about this idea of you know young being, um, you know the the eggs being retained mm -hmm. inside and the, and the and the young developing inside the female's uterus. This is not a true placental condition. Mm -hmm. It's not. There's not a connection to the mother like there would be in mammals and some other animals. Thanks so much, Dale. Oh yeah, no problem. problem.